coach, Ginger High Colvin, makes her way over. Coach, uh, it's nice to finally get into conference play. This is yep. a tough test to start thing a team mm -hmm. uh, start things team 15 and 0. You held them to a season low 64 points today. Uh, we did, and uh, I don't know how many of those are on the free throw line. And they the game was called. I feel very fair. Um, they just called it tight, and we just we didn't break down and, and defend. We just kept on and kept on putting them on the free throw line, and that was that was on us. It wasn't that that we were getting just super bad whistles. It was just that we were reaching and standing up and putting them there. So I feel like. Uh, Jordan's second foul was kind of a cheap foul. Uh, they were kind of getting in a pushing match, and the second one always gets caught, and she got caught. So that took her out of her, her rhythm the first half. But um, obviously if Jordan's in the game, um, she's, she's going to be able to put points on the board, and we've got to be able to keep her in the game. And uh, those are the things we've got to work on. I thought Calhoun came in and did a good job for us today. Uh, but, again, she fouled out. Both of our bigs fouled out. But, you know, the Madison Faulkner, Madison Stewart there inside, I thought, just were exceptional today. Uh, Faulkner was really good, 19 points, a couple of rebounds, brought you that energy off the bench yep. early. Uh, Jordan and I, Jordan looked at me before the game. He said, who are you taking today? Who's your, you know, who's going to have the big day? And yep. I said, I think it's Stu. Uh, yep. She has double-digit rebounds. Well, she didn't get there. She was far from it. I don't know what got into her today. She couldn't <laughs> find one. Yeah. But um, – she did. She was 10 of 10 at the line. She yep. made some big shots, mm -hmm. kept Georgetown off balance. Maybe a slow start for her, but she, she picked she was. it up. And she tried too hard. And that you do. There's times you come out and you try too hard. And early in this game, she tried too hard. I brought her out quick and tried to just let her sit and gather herself and uh, just get her wits about her. She's a senior. It's Georgetown. You know, you're on their home court first conference game, and she was just wound up too tight. Kaiser was wound up too tight. But, uh, you know, I feel like we uh, – we battle with them. They're very solid. They've got some athletes on their team. They shoot the ball well. Uh, they've got a big point guard that's hard to guard. Back to the Shannon Wathen days for Camelsville. When you've got a point guard that's that big and can uh, get to the rim and do some things and is hard to guard, that's a that's a challenge to guard. But uh, all those kids, he does. James does a great job, and uh, they've worked hard to get to where they are. And uh, you know, big big quick turnaround from where they were last season. So you've got to have your Hats off to him and, and what he's done with this program. And uh, you talked about the point guard, Madison Darnell. She mm -hmm. finishes with 21 points, so just off her career high. Yep. Uh, the worst news about that is she is just a freshman, so yeah, you've right. got a lot of yep. uh, matchups with her uh, along the way. But uh, she had a big afternoon. She really kept Georgetown in it in she the really first did. half. Yep. And just getting to the line, just uh, you know, things that we've got to be able to stop if we're gonna if we're going to continue to to succeed. We've got to be able to break down and stop and. Uh, uh, that's obviously something we can work on, but we, I thought we battled today. And um, you know, on a, on the visitors' floor, I don't care who you are. If they've got 15 wins, that's going to rattle you a little bit. And we came out, and I feel like played rattled early. And uh, but you know, when you've got kids like uh, you know Madison Faulkner, she was not afraid. She came in and took it to them. We did not take it to them early. And uh, she came in when she came all, uh She came in for Stu three, four minutes into the game and took it to them and kind of set a tone for it. You uh, you mentioned. A team that's 15 and 0. This it's been a little while since this Georgetown yep. Campbellsville matchup has mm -hmm. has really felt like a big game. Yep. They've been a little down. They've had the coaching mm -hmm. change. Coach Jackson is trying to, you know, get his style of play, his kids, and that type of thing. It felt really cool today to, to come right. into the gym and this women's game mean just as much as what Absolutely. the men's game is going to mean like it has the last few years. And uh, I think we're to the advantage of what probably Brent's at. We can, Now we can sit and watch and enjoy this game. You know, they're sitting and watching our game, probably not real focused on it because of what they've got coming up. But, uh, you know, our men's team, I, they're so fun to watch this year. And uh, nothing would please me more than for both of us just to, to get out and win this conference. And I think both of us have the capability of doing it. I think there's a lot of teams in the league that have the capability of doing it. But uh, obviously I'm going to favor for, toward Campbellsville. But, um, you know, it, it is nice. And then, James, like I said, James is going to do a great job here with this program, and he's got some good young kids. And he, he knows what he has, and he's going to play those kids, and those kids are going to have that experience. Next week's going to be interesting for you. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, you get into conference play. You get the, the home yep, right. uh, Thursday, Saturday. Coaching change at Cumberland University. Mm -hmm. One of your close friends, Jeremy Lewis, takes over the men's program. On the program. men's side, yeah. Brent Vernon may have to ask you to help scout a little bit. <laughs> what do you know about that Cumberland Yeah, I, I told Jeremy, I said, there's one time. There's one time that I can't cheer for you, and you know that, and it's it's against Campbellsville. But the rest of the time, I'll always be rooting for him. Jeremy's one of my best friends, and uh, we don't we don't hide that. He's a great guy, great coach, and uh, – I'm glad he's gone from the women's side. I think Brent's probably not glad that he's on the men's side now, but uh, it's going to be fun to sit and, and watch and not compete against him and just be just be his friend. Right. 
You get Cumberland on Thursday night. Mm -hmm. uh, Lindsey Wilson will be the quick turnaround yep. on Saturday. Coach John Weathington and the Blue Raiders. So you get two of your big rivals out of the oh, way yeah. pretty quick. Yep. But uh, it'll be fun to get into conference play at home in the power. Early start for the yes. semester for the Tigers. Yep. So uh, students will be back on campus mm -hmm. next week. It'll be a pretty cool environment. You know, and Coach Jackson and I talked about this before this game. Their, their students aren't back on campus. And it's a disservice really to their players. And uh, when we play Lindsay, our kids still, our kids will be on campus, but I don't think Lindsay's will. Uh, I'm not sure when they yeah, come back. If they are, they will just be getting back. And uh, I want those. And I think if you ask all the kids, you want you want Georgetown stands full. Uh, you know that's fun, um, and that's what you want. And I think you know you can't help it. I know you can't help it, but uh, you know these big rivalry games. I know I know James would love love more students on campus and. Uh, you know, we obviously, anytime we have a, a conference game, we want our students on, on campus. I'm going to let you get out of here. You've got a couple of former Lady Tigers behind you. They're waiting to get a to That's get two a good ones. With, I would put them in. Their, I would yeah, put them oh, in they, right now. I'm sure they give you a few good minutes. I guarantee sure. you. I Keisha guarantee you. Compton and Katie Allen. Way to <laughs> coach. Congratulations Thank on you. this one. Uh, the Lady Tigers victorious here today as they knock off Georgetown College 78-64. to 64.